All right, now, uh, to Big Australia, even more proof that no matter how much you don't want it, it is happening, and no matter what they say, it is still happening. Now, it doesn't matter. Every time this issue is polled, time and time again, about the number of people that are coming into Australia, Australians strongly, 50% and above, say no, things are too high. There's this poll that was in the Sydney Morning Herald. There's this poll that the IPA put out. There's this article in the freaking Economist. And there's even this Twitter poll on Q&A. Every single time people are asked, it comes back. We're pro-immigration. We don't care where you come from. As long as you trust uh, the, uh, the rules and norms of this society, welcome in, enjoy yourself. But we know that the numbers were way too high last year. Too many people is too much pressure on things like the housing supply. And we were told by this government in December of last year, oh, no, we're pulling our head in. This year was a little bit too crazy, a little bit too much. Find some way to blame Scott Morrison for it, but we've got it all now back under control. In fact, this is what Clueless Claire O'Neill said. One of the goals of our agenda here is to bring migration numbers back to normal. But, of course, despite the words, despite whatever decisions they say they've made, the reality is that we can go off the numbers that are being produced by the Bureau of Statistics, all right? Not some far right-wing think tank, not wishful thinking from their political opponents. But as The Telegraph wrote, in January, figures released on Thursday by the Bureau of Statistics revealed 125,000 permanent and long-term arrivals landed in Australia in January, the highest on record. In fact, it was also the highest number since 2009. Well, now we can talk about February. Daily Mail's headline. Australia hits worrying new milestone as more than 100,000 foreigners arrive in one month for the first time ever and a housing crisis worsens. Again, where are they getting their info from? February's net intake of permanent and long-term arrivals was 105,000, almost double January's level, according to the new Bureau of Statistics data. Now, this has led to, among others... The Lord Mayor of Brisbane, freshly re-elected, Adrian Schrinner. Now, he took the extraordinary step, uh, literally two days ago, I think he was at a citizenship ceremony, but now on Instagram, he's copying it because he says under this picture, for the first time ever, permanent and long-term migration has added more than 100,000 people to Australia's population in a single month. This is his post that was up on, uh, on Instagram. His quotes, by any reasonable measure, 100,000 people in one month is simply... Too many, too soon. It's like adding two full Suncorp stadiums to the population every single month. Despite welcoming many generations of migrants, Australians have never seen this many people arrive in such a short period of time. It's time for the federal government to regain control of our immigration system and to ensure that local communities are adequately funded so they can catch their breath and that they can catch up to demand. He happily welcomes more people when the federal government is able to actually deal with this. He goes on to talk about uh, local government and also the, the issues when it comes to stamp duty. I mean, these, these are the issues that are happening right now.